Sabbath. This month, we're going to be looking at the book of Psalms. And Psalms means songs. The Psalms is a collection of songs used to worship God, and about 150 of them. Songs and hymns written by King David and a few others. And some are songs of praise and thanks. Other songs are for help and forgiveness. But Psalms helps people talk with God and worship God. Isn't that neat? And I think I'm going to... Hi! Hi! What are you doing, Pastor Pat? Well, I came in to see what you were up to. What are you doing? We're talking about the book of Psalms. Oh, I was just researching that. So oh, that's cool. Oh, good. I'll ask you some questions oh, about it. Oh, I don't know very many things, but uh, I'm working on it. I'm well, trying to get I'm glad started. you're learning. You know what I learned? What? There are five different books in the book of Psalms. Did you know that? Really? Yeah, I didn't know that. Wow. What are we doing with the flowers? Well, because there are wonderful songs of, of praise and rejoicing in the Psalms, um, we're going to rejoice about spring. Good. And at worship, kids can come before worship and get a flower and a stem and a box of their own crayons to take with them and then bring back the next Sunday and color a flower right and then put the stem on and then when they come out after worship we have a very special place where we're going to put the, the all of the flowers like a flower garden a flower cross Ooh, even better and in the middle here we're, I'm, I'm asking everybody to write a word or two about something that's new in their life. Because we're in a season of newness. It, we're in the season of Easter. It's spring. Things are growing, starting to grow and be new again. Oh, exciting. Yeah. So, you want to know what I learned that was new? Tell me about so what's new So, five books. So, five books. Yeah. The original books that were written, they can tell where they were written. Did you know that? No. I didn't know that either. That's so, so the cool. first book they could tell because God's called Yahweh. And I didn't realize that. So, like the first, like... 40 or so of the Psalms, uh -huh. they call God Yahweh. Yep. In the second book, they call God Elohim. Oh. And so we know that in, in the first book, that it was probably written in Judah, when uh -huh. David was in Judah. And then the second book was probably written when David was in Israel. And so that kind of makes it fun to know that too. Um, and then the third book, third, fourth, and fifth book are all songs, but they're different kinds of songs. The first ones, uh, the one songs that they have for the third book are like wedding songs and joyous songs. Oh, and I like those. I like those happy songs. Yeah. Yes. And then the next ones are for uh, public worship. So like when we do church outside and stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah, that would be like, or if there was a wedding someplace and we wanted to celebrate somebody's wedding, we could... We could sing a special song for a wedding. That's so those really are kind of fun. fun. And then the last book was for, um, do you ever sing when you're hiking in the woods? Oh, yes. They call that pilgrimage when they go from one place to another. Uh -huh. And those songs were made for pilgrimage, especially for Passover. In the old Jewish custom, that would be the day that the, the big feast. They would go marching and singing songs, and they'd sing songs as they were going from one place to another. So it made it really fun. I like to, I love to go hiking, and I like to sing, and it helps keep the bears away when you sing when you're out in the mountains. Hiking. Well, it only helps keep the bears away when I sing, because I don't sing. Very good. <laughs> yeah, I get that. I get that. But really, I think it's kind of fun that you've got it's it's all these songs that David, King David, wrote. And he wrote songs so that people could celebrate and enjoy, enjoy worshiping God as they walked and enjoyed nature. Right. So it was kind of fun stuff. So when you come to worship, keep an eye out for getting a flower, stem, box of crayons. And if you're at home and you're not able to come, you can cut out a flower and Ooh, color it. Idea. Yeah, and maybe put it in the window to share with your neighbors. That's wonderful. Okay. I think I'm, I'm going to put mine in the window of my car. Oh, that's a good idea. People can see it when I'm driving down the street. Share spring with your friends and your family, and we'll see you next time on The Great Journey. Bye. Bye. Say bye, Luca.